Being able to wrap mallets or repair yarn wound mallets is another easy task that you can learn. And so let's try to do so right now. First of all, these products do exist from different manufacturers and you can find the various shafts that you might need. And you can find a wide variety of different cores. So very hard cores to cores that are, that are not as hard. And depending on what you're going for, you attach that core to the stick. Now the manufacturer that I buy from actually does a little bit of a shaving of the end of the stick and it allows you to insert the core pretty easily and oftentimes what I find myself doing is just taking the core, again I'll be inserting the stick into that hole and it's not as easy as just to push it in. Normally what I find is if you can find your chime hammer and then pound the stick down into the core that that will be a good way to attach it. I have never had a core come off, but uh, of course there's Murphy's Law. So if you feel any type of fear that the head might come off the stick, adding uh, glue would be something that you could do. But again, whenever I've done that with these products, I've just not had a problem. So glue is not something that I normally add when I'm working this particular project. Once you have your stick attached and it will look something like this, and let me just pull this one off now, then you could actually just use the stick probably for a xylophone mallet or a vibraphone, or I'm sorry, a xylophone or bells. But if you want to turn it into a marimba mallet, we need another softer layer. So what you can do is find some latex rubber, and this diameter is a little bit harder to find. This is a three-quarter inch diameter with a quarter inch wall, but when you use this, you can just pull it right over the head and it's easy to do. Now, if you're not, and what I mean that's hard to find this is normally they only want to sell this in 10 foot lengths and the 10 foot length will probably be 80 or $90. So my 10 foot length has lasted about, oh, I don't know, 15 years and I expect it to last me for the rest of my life. But you might not want a 10 foot length and then to buy a shorter length of tubing, normally you have to buy a smaller diameter. Well, here's how you can work around that problem. And the problem is trying to pull this over the top. It's very difficult to do. So uh, I don't know when the last time is that you prepared lobster at home, but what you need to do is get a lobster bander tool. And what this does is it spreads open the latex rubber tubing and so because it makes it open, I'm then able to pull it over the top of the head and I'm able to add this layer. And again, I'm doing this because it's a marimba stick and we want it softer than just having to have it be struck with yarn and just with this the core. So I'm going to pull this latex rubber tubing over the top. Now, this in itself would be a fine marimba mallet. Check that sound out. I think you would like it. I attach any yarn. This would just go to a craft store like Michael's, buy a skein of yarn. Uh, use school colors. It's kind of fun to do something like that. Attach the yarn to the stick. I just tied a knot. And as I look at the head of the stick, I think of 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And I'm going to be winding from 5 to 11. Here's what I mean by that. So I pull up a wind, and now I turn the stick counterclockwise. I make another wind from 5 to 11, 5 to 11, and I keep turning counterclockwise. And as I continue to do this, the stick will get wound. And typically, if you do this about 100 times, you will end up with something that will look more along these lines. And then the next step is to stitch in the crown. And the way that you do that is I go through the top, dig down a couple layers, pull it through, go to the center, dig down a couple layers, go through, and you keep going around and around until you've gone all the way around the top. Then turn it upside down, go to the bottom, dig through the shaft, and the yarn. Go all the way around here again. Probably doing about 10 to 12 stitches, so to speak.
And the purpose of this is it keeps the yarn on the stick. To finish it off, I've done the top crown, I've done the bottom. I simply just will lose the yarn, so to speak. I'll make a stitch towards the top. And then I go towards the bottom, just trying to weave it through so you don't have to tie it at all. And then I will pull it taunt, cut the top off, and you will have a yarn wound mallet. Fun, easy to do, and uh, for to make a pair of sticks like this, it will probably cost you five dollars. And as you know, a pair of yarn mallets, so it was probably $20, $25. So you can save quite a bit of money, and it's fun to create the dis different recipes that you might create for the different hardnesses that you might want to employ in your marimba plane.